<laughs> Thank you, Courtney. Very well done. Brett Blackwell in the house, our BT Wealth Advisor. Now, typically, Brett, you're in here providing your insight and your expertise on, on how to gain wealth, on how to build wealth. But today, prompted by events, uh, flooding specifically in southern Alberta and Ontario, we're going to talk about protecting wealth. Yeah, well, you know, and, you know, like I say, insurance is designed to protect your wealth, right? Whether it's your income that you make, so buying life insurance or disability insurance in case you can't work. And more, most importantly, and for most people, property uh, insurance, right? Whether it's insuring your car, your cottage, your house, uh, anything that you have. And I think uh, a lot of people in this province are a lot more aware of what kind of coverage they have right now. Because they've had a rude awakening. Yeah. A lot of people are realizing after the fact, after they've brought in, uh, you know, they put their sump pump to work and they brought in generator pumps and they've got three feet of water out of their basement and they're starting, just starting to rebuild, they're realizing that they're not even covered, though they've been paying for their insurance for years and years. Yeah, well, I, I live in a flood prone uh, neighborhood in the city, so, uh, you know, I'm pretty aware of the fact that there is no overland insurance. I, I looked into it quite a while ago, and uh, like I say, I think a lot of people are finding out for the first time. So some people are gonna be uh, trying to find video evidence if they can, and I know this personally, because this is what my family members are doing, right. showing uh, sewage coming yeah. in and flooding from underneath, which would not be overland flooding, but let's say people have been victims of overland flooding. In other words, uh, rivers overflowing and, and coming into wind those are through cracks yeah. in the foundation and destroying property. Yeah. Uh, what do people need to do now moving forward? Unfortunately, for a lot of people, there's nothing you can do about what's already happened. What should we do now? Well, I think insurance is one of those things where it just seems like an expense, right? It's not something I'm gonna need, so it's easy to neglect. And I think an event like this makes you aware uh, that maybe maybe we you could be the person that is affected by it. So it's a good time to do an audit. You know, really take a hard look at what your insurance needs are and make sure that you have the coverage that you think. Okay, so it's actually not possible in a lot of situations to obtain overland flooding insurance, no. correct? Okay, so you wanna be aware of that and for a lot of people this is probably, let's be frank and honest, gonna prompt a move. Yeah, well, I mean, that's an honest question. I mean, when, when we moved into our neighborhood, I actually looked into it. It wasn't until after I bought the house that I found out, oh, guess what, you can't get insurance for flooding and I live in a high flood area. You know, one of the considerations my wife and I had was, you know, should we even stay in there? Can we afford, you know, if we live in a 150 year floodplain and that happens next week, you know, can we afford to rebuild without insurance? Because for a lot of people, they're gonna take Maybe hundreds of thousands of dollars of losses. We saw some of these houses yeah. washed away in Canmore and Bragg Creek. Those right. are losses. So you also, I would imagine, wanna take a look at the company that you're with. Yeah, I, I, you know, and I think, I think reviewing your insurance and making sure you really understand. I think finding out now that you don't have flood insurance, that's, that's, that's pretty lame, right? Like you should know what you have, what your coverage is, you know, how good is the company at honoring its commitments, you know? Uh, really do some homework and make sure you have the coverage you have because when it happens, and it's hit you, it's too late to do anything about it if it's not right. So is this as simple as, as using Google? Google your insurance company, see how, the, sure. see how they've paid out claims in the past? Absolutely. I, I think in a time like this, though, it's very difficult. You're not going to get a lot of, you know, when you have a mass event like this. I mean, nobody wants to be on the front page of the paper, right? So I would think at a time like this, claims are going to be paid out at a higher frequency than they would in normal times, right, when it might be a one-off. I think that's where you may have issues. But even just understanding the coverage you have. Do you have the coverage you think you have? It sounds like such a simple concept, but it's one that so many of us, including yeah. myself, have not undertaken a personal insurance audit. Thanks for the heads up. You can find out more about what Brett does by checking out his website, brettblackwell.com. Of course, we link to it under the inside BT link on ours. We're back with news, traffic, and weather. Wednesday morning, 628 sharp.